our friends at Wright Auto, we're pleased to bring you this 2007 Ram 2500 SLT quad cab four door short bed four wheel drive. And this has got the Cummins 5.9 liter high output. This is a big horn edition, so it's got some nice features. It is a Kansas vehicle. There is some rust here on the wheel arts, but for the most part, it's very clean. It's got the aftermarket smoked out headlights with these LED lights with individual switches, as well as fog lights down below. This is a clean title vehicle. There is no hail on this vehicle. The condition of the tires, I would say they're about 60% 10 ply heavy load Firestone tires. Under the hood, you got newer batteries, 719 aftermarket air intake. I want to show you the uh, Typically, these things are known for blow by. No blow by, they put that over, it doesn't shoot it over. It's a nice runner, although the vehicle does have a light for the uh, for the check engine light and a glow plug light. This vehicle came into us as you see it. The edge of the seat is in good shape, so it does have the check engine light. And these are the switches for the fog lights. And this one here, it's broke, so you would have to use the tip of your nails to turn it off. Six-speed manual, very desirable with the 5.9. That's why we consider the vehicle. And this one happens to have solid rockers and cab corners. Under this door, there is some slight rust, as you can see. Condition of the back seat. We haven't had a chance to detail the vehicle. It does have the gooseneck hitch all set up. Uh, the rust has not rotted through. Typically, people cover those up with uh, fender flares. Matching tires. Looks like it's got some aftermarket blitz oil coolant filtration. Or no, this is oil. This is not coolant. We'll look into this a little bit more to see if it's coolant or just engine oil. Let's step on the gas a little bit that you uh, hear the motor. Sounds really nice, although. The exhaust has been disconnected from here, so it needs to get reconnected back up. Here's the other side. It is solid. It just starts to bubble under these doors. There's no hail on the vehicle. It is a clean title vehicle. The front door shows a little bit as well, but not bad at all, considering the year and the miles on the vehicle. The lower balance has uh, come down a little bit on the vehicle. The tires are not great, it's really clean, no hail on it. These mirrors flip up to give you a nice range as you're towing. We'll bring them back down. Maybe a little bit of loop would help it. Let's take you on a short drive. Okay guys, welcome inside the 0759. Uh, a lot of uh, 07s could also have the 6.7 and that has a lot of uh, emissions that you have to deal with. This is pre-emissions. Again, no misfire, no hesitation. Uh, the muffler is disconnected. Power driver seat does work. Uh, let me show you the cluster of the vehicle. So there is that check engine. Uh, the e-brake uh, does engage, but as far as working, uh, do you know if it works, Marco? Um, it's slightly. Okay, let's try it. Let's go. Let's go on an incline and test the, the the windshield does have a crack. Unfortunately, right now with the COVID-19, uh, all of our sources are uh, kind of up for uh, finding new ones because we don't know if they're going to be in business or what's going on. Okay, so we're kind of at an incline and uh, it does need some adjustment. So there's the e-brake. Now this does have the granny gear, which is the low. I started out in second gear. You'll find similar vehicles in our inventory. Ford, Dodge, Chevy, the big three will have them. And none of the other ones are manual. These manuals are getting harder and harder to find. Here's another Dodge. This is a new body saw. It's got the 6.7. Uh, and there's more on the back. But this particular one, uh, you know, mechanically it's good, but it does, uh, when you want to start the vehicle, there is a delay in the start. You may have to use some ether and starter fluid to get her going. Uh, so we may need either glow plugs or injectors. That's typically what people say. But it's got a lot of power. All the gears work nice. Doesn't slip. 
engine as you saw there's no go by we're fourth gear right now going into fifth again there's no grinding vehicle drive straight front end seems real tight now going into sixth real solid truck sounds really nice and again as most of you know these are uh, these manuals are getting harder and harder to find brakes feel great there's no pulsation let's test the windshield wipers they work all the windows work let's test the heat the radio that's the purpose of this video folks so if you don't want to get out of the house and don't want to have any contact with anyone we understand we sold we sold last week a few vehicles that we didn't have to uh, uh, do anything with the customer they did everything remotely the heat works great we'll shut that off Boy, it sounds nice I'm sure it's gonna be a lot quieter once the, the disconnected uh, pipe as you saw there gets connected back on once you get going additional requests, pictures, anything you need, feel free to let us know. We'd be happy to accommodate. Thank you.